What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Scotian Canadian studio and I'm pumped to be back here with you guys talking prospects. As usual, hit that subscribe button if you like these videos as well as the bell for notifications when I upload new content. It was a fun day watching the NHL entry draft. Our general manager, Mark Bergevin, as well as his assistant, Trevor Timmons, and the head of amateur scouting, Shane Sherla, put in a ton of work to continue stocking our prospect pool full of quality players just like they did last year. So let's get right into it and talk about all of the picks Montreal made in the 2019 NHL Entry Draft. First and foremost, at number 15 of the first round, the Canadian selected Cole Caulfield, a right-handed right winger out of the U.S. Development Program. And in that program in the last two years, he played 123 games and had 126 goals. That's over a goal per game. 72 of them came last year, setting the all-time record for goals scored in a single season. Now second on that list will be Austin Matthews. And Cole leaves the U.S. Development Program with 180 points as the all-time leader in points, finishing ahead of guys like Austin Matthews, as well as Patrick Kane and Clayton Keller, three guys that joined the NHL pretty much right after they were drafted and made an impact right away. So that is a great sign. Now he is 5'7", some, uh, some, uh, some talk about his size, and I was a little thrown off at first, but uh, if there's any organization that can develop smaller players, it is the Montreal Canadiens. Look at guys like Brendan Gallagher, and of course, Saku Koivu in the past. You can't forget a Van Comer, eh? Uh, even Max Domi, little uh, under height, he's florist in Montreal, as well as Paul Byron, when he came to Montreal, flourished and became a 20 goal scorer. So I don't think we have anything to worry about uh, with this guy's size, considering his uh, potentially elite goal scoring ability and the goals he put up in the last couple years in that U.S. development program. A ton of experts had him ranked in the top 10. Some even had him ranked in the top five. So we are fortunate that he dropped to us at number 15. Fantastic pick by the Montreal Canadiens, labeled as one of the uh, the best goal scorer in the draft. Now, he wants to join the NHL as soon as possible, which is great. He has committed to uh, Wisconsin, though, for university, so he'll spend the first year there next year. And it'll be up to him whether or not he joins the NHL after that or, or, or uh, tries to make a crack at making the Habs roster um, after his first year in Wisconsin. Now, he did play with Jack Hughes in the U.S. Development Program, so there's some people saying that maybe that would have inflated his stats a little bit. But in 15 games played without Jack Hughes, he had 13 goals and 23 points. So it'll be interesting to watch him next year in Wisconsin without Jack Hughes. And uh, I expect him to show off his, uh, his potentially elite goal scoring ability even more. He's got a very accurate shot and quick release, but most importantly, it is deceptive. He changes the angle of that stick and gets shots off fast. And I think it's great that the Habs have added a prospect with the potentially elite goal scoring ability that Cole Caulfield has, because if you look at our current roster and even our upcoming players, we have a lot of primary playmakers. So if you think about Max Domi, Jonathan Drouin, and even Philip Deneau, and then our upcoming guys like Nick Suzuki and Ryan Paling, these guys are known as primary playmakers. So to get Cole Caulfield, a guy who can finish off plays and in style, this could be great for the Habs moving forward. Pumped about this pick. Uh, and following him, we move into the second round. And uh, from this point on, the Habs drafted four straight left-handed defensemen. I love that Trevor Timmons and Mark Bergevin put an onus on uh, stalking that area of the prospect pool because after Alexander Romanov and uh, Leskin in a free agent we signed a couple weeks ago, that area of the prospect pool kind of drops off a little bit. Um, so uh, at 46, the Habs draft Jaden Struble, six foot, 194 pounds, left shot D. And in uh, US high school hockey last year, he had 10 goals, 30 assists for 40 points. He's uh, he's described as a strong player, uh, physical in his own zone, strong on the puck, uh, big mobile puck moving defender. He'll likely be a four-year project though, uh, slow and steady in terms of his development, but it's important to point out that he finished very high and uh, actually first in a ton of, uh, of the physical tests at the NHL Combine, including bench press, long jump, uh, left and right hand grip, and he finished top five in a few uh, other of the physical tests. So 
So for this guy as one of the youngest players in the draft to finish this high in all those athletic tests is a great sign. I think it uh, it, it, it shows his uh, his great work ethic, especially at that age. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to watch this great pick by the Habs at, uh, with their second round pick. As I go deeper into the picks that the Montreal Canadiens made in the 2019 NHL Entry Draft, make sure to check out David St. Louis's articles on Habs Eyes on the Prize. I hold his opinion in high regard. He covers Montreal Canadiens prospects very thoroughly and he does a great job at it. Not only does he go into the specific play styles of each player, but he includes uh, highlights in the articles as well. Very inf informative and I guarantee you'll love it and you'll learn a lot from his writing and the way he puts together his profiles of players. Uh, following that, we have Matthias uh, Norlinder at 64, uh, 5'10", 179 pounds, another left-handed defenseman as I mentioned. You gotta wonder if this guy is a product of that European combine. Montreal is one of the first teams to start holding their own combine in Europe. It gives them an opportunity to hold similar tests as the NHL combine with guys that weren't invited. And... Uh, most importantly, though, interview these guys, get to know their personality, their character, and uh, be able to project them even more by getting to know them. It's some information that a lot of other NHL teams wouldn't have, so I find that very interesting. And uh, you got to wonder if uh, this could be another guy that comes in as a steal for the Habs, just like Alexander Romanov was last year, thanks to that European Combine. Then at number 77, we have Gianni Fairbrother, six foot, 194 pounds, played with Ever uh, the Everett Silvertips last year of the OHL, 64 games played, 10 goals, 26 assists for 30 points. Left shot D, like I mentioned before, the Habs on a roll picking those left shot defensemen. Uh, it's another prospect that we can watch through junior and uh, see his development moving forward. He's described with a ceiling of a 5'6 defenseman, but was drafted in round three, and uh, some people may have said similar things to Victor Mete a few years past, and look how he's turned out. Um, but yeah, like I said, love that Timmons and Bergevin have put an onus on drafting those left-handed defensemen. And there was another one that came in round five at uh, 126th. Jacob Legurier, 6'1", 200 pounds, played for Sioux Greyhounds last year, six goals, 10 assists for 16 points, described as more of a shutdown uh, defenseman. Once again, another guy that we can watch develop over the next couple years. In round five at pick 131, the Habs drafted left winger Rhett Pitlick out of the USHL. He's a young guy. He only played seven games in that league last year, but he put up five points. Number 138, Frederick Nissan Dichau, a goalie, six foot five, 191 pounds. Very big guy, um, which is what you like in a goaltender. And this is another pick. you got to wonder if uh, this is a product of that European combine, getting to interview guys, see their, see their uh, personality, their work ethic, their competitiveness. Um, looking forward to keep an eye on this guy. And we all know how good the Habs are at drafting goaltenders. Very interesting pick. Off the board, um, be fun to watch him moving forward. Moved around six at 170. The Habs draft. This is a tough one. Uh, I apologize if I messed this name up here. Arsen Kishima. Kisha Mutidinov, uh, forward, 21 years old. He played in the KHL last year, just nine games played, but he had two goals and three assists. So he uh, is an overager at 21 years old, but definitely an interesting pick. You got to wonder if they're going to bring him over to Laval next year, get him under Joel Bouchard and begin his development uh, in the North American game. So we'll keep an eye on that. Then we go to round seven and at number 201, the Habs draft Raphael Harvey Pennard, a standout for the Rouen Noranda Huskies in the QMJHL playoffs, as well as the Memorial Cup, and he is a Memorial Cup champion. Uh, left winger, 20 years old. He's an overager, 5'9", 171 pounds. Um, I love this. He stood out for Rouen Noranda, and even though he's an overager, I think it's smart to draft these guys and get their rights rather than fight to uh, sign them as a free agent against other teams in the future. And like I said, he put up some very solid numbers uh, last year for Rouen Noranda. In, in the regular season, 66 games played, 40 goals, 45 assists for 85 points. In the playoffs, 20 games played, 13 goals, 14 assists for 27 points. Love to see the Habs uh, drafting these Quebec Quebecois players as well. So great pick from them. Got to see a lot of him in Halifax, and he was dangerous every night. 
Uh, and then the last pick of the draft for the Habs at number 206, uh, Kieran Rushensky, another left-handed defenseman. This guy's huge at 6'5", 180 pounds. He'll definitely fill out. Got to wonder if he's more of a shutdown defenseman. Um, so we'll keep an eye on him as well. Now, a quick note about the draft. Montreal made 10 picks in total, but they also managed to uh, do some shuffling via trades and land themselves a couple more picks for the draft next year. So they'll have nine picks in the NHL draft next year, whether or not they'll use those to pick more prospects or use them to uh, acquire uh, NHL depth later on in the future is yet to be seen. But uh, great asset management again from Mark Bergevin. These are minor deals, but could end up being very important for the franchise uh, moving forward. Overall, I think this was a great draft. I have full faith in the work that Mark Bergevin, Trevor Timmons, and Shane Sherla did today to stock our prospect pool full of a ton of quality players. Now, you're usually lucky to get two to three NHL impactful players out of each draft, so not all of these guys are gonna turn out and it takes quite a while to really gauge how well a draft is, sometimes four to six years. So, um, and the other thing, I don't think we should pile an extreme amount of pressure on players, specifically a guy like Cole Caulfield drafted in the first round. Maybe that will drive him, but at the end of the day, he could need some development time, not only in university, but in the NHL as well. He has a lot of hard work ahead of him as a small player, that competitiveness that he'll need to bring to the ice every game. But with a, a guy like Brendan Gallagher to, to lead the way for him and show him how it's done will be very impactful for his career moving forward. Let me know what you thought about the uh, 2019 NHL draft for the Montreal Canadiens down in the comments and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like this video and you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Scotian Canadian. Cheers guys. Go Habs go baby. If you're looking for more in-depth content from myself, you can check out my State of the Franchise where I go in-depth on the Montreal Canadiens organization. I go through team stats, the cap structure, individual player stats, as well as share my opinion on a ton of different players. There's also a ton of good fan-created content out there in the Twitterverse, uh, on the internet. Check it all out. One of my favorites, the From Failing Hands podcast with Mike and John. Uh, these guys are doing a stellar job with great guests, a good insight, obje objective of opinions and uh, some laughs too so check them out uh, as well as a ton of other uh, uh, great Habs fan created content out there cheers guys go Habs go baby